Hey, welcome back everyone. Just wanted to give everyone a little update on my no money spent grind so far and how I'm doing with my collections right now. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well, gotta say. Like I had spoken on one of my previous videos, I think the way that you should do this based upon my history of playing this game and knowing what happens to the markets with the cards is to buy the most expensive cards now. Now do they have to be bought right this second? No, but you should just continuously be saving up for those most expensive cards because they are going to be the cheapest as they're going to be, especially once the first roster update comes out. Expect lots of changes. My suggestion to do is to complete the collections before the update on the 21st. Now, you still have a few weeks to do that, so make sure you're selling everything you can except for those 90-plus cards. I'm going to show you my progress thus far. So go in here. We're going to go to the live series cards just so I can show you what I currently have. So I pretty much have been selling every card. I have been playing the markets, uh, especially now as you see buy order coming in right now, especially these low commons that you can buy for quick sell value, and they're worth nothing. Five, five stubs, and then I go sell them for anywhere from like 30 to sometimes even 100 stubs. You make massive gains as you sleep overnight. Use that app. Download the companion app. It is crazy how many thousands of stubs you can make as you are just sleeping especially when you're making the five dollar ones there's literally no risk there's no risk you can always quick sell them back if you need to because um, they're worth five <laughs> on a quick sell it's great all right so this is this is what we have so far so I'm, i am going to tell you the order i started in if i'm remembering correctly i went trout followed by otani mookie bets has shot up in price i think i got mookie bets for 108k maybe it was 113 something around those lines pretty cheaply. He's shooting up. He's the, by far the most expensive uh, one in the National League. I would say focus on the American League first. Even though the National League gives you a better uh, reward, I do think the Sammy Sosa card is a lot better than the Mark McGuire card. It's just that the expensive cards are in the American League, so going after them first. So we're going to go through. Like I said, I think I went Trout, Otani, I actually packed Diaz, and I decided not to sell him, and when I packed him, he was about the same price he is now. So these cards aren't, aren't dropping in value. Judge, I bought it about a little bit cheaper than this. DeGrom, I bought cheaper than this. I bought him in the 90s. I haven't really touched them. Scherzer's price has been increasing. Well, it did increase from where it was initially. Uh, Verlander, I think, has been pretty much staying the same. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these guys right now, honestly, because as long as I get them before the update, we should be fine. And Verlander, he's not going to be touched because he's uh, he's currently hurt. Let's go to the next page here. I actually have a buy order out for Paul Gold for Goldschmidt right now, which I don't think is the one that's up there. Let's see. I'm going... No, it is. Okay, so mine is the next one in the queue. Hopefully that goes through. I'm waiting on Arenado because he's currently supercharged and because he's supercharged, his price has gone up. So I'm waiting for him to fall... Again, and honestly, Goldschmidt's might fall as well with Arenado's. Goldschmidt's price has gone up along with Arenado's. So, you know, there. Um, Buxton has gotten out to a quick start. And because of that, I was like, let me jump on him. So I bought him this morning. I bought some of these. I actually finished out. I'm trying to finish out the uh, Central Collection. I know I said not to do that, not to lock anything in. But the cards that I was getting, uh, I got them at a pretty cheap rate. Buxton I got for like 12000 and Jose over here I got for, I think, 17 So the prices are going up on these on these guys. Uh, Cole I wanted just because he was supercharged, and uh, I got him when he was at, like, 9K. So these these are continually going up, too. The, these I'm not too worried about getting. They're not that expensive. Turner I actually packed, so I decided just to hold on to him because Turner is a card that just out of nowhere can just shoot up. So with him, I was like, I'm not going to sell him. I'm going to hold on to him. And none, none of these cards are, are that impressive. None of these cards are that impressive. They're not. They're not that expensive. I did complete the Yankee select uh, collection too because I already had the big cards. And I wasn't going to sell them, so I did wind up buying some of the cheap cards there. I had I had packed a bunch. I only wound up spending I think like three K stubs to finish out the the collection, so that worked out uh, rather rather nicely. So let's just go team by team to see actually what we've what we've done here. So Orioles, I only got 7 of 10. Red Sox, 8. Yankees, 40 of 40. Rays, 10 of 40. Blue Jays, 5 of 40. See, if you notice, I'm missing Cease here. Same thing. I don't really want to put money into Cease right now. Mainly because his supercharge is going to be ending tomorrow, and I think his price is going to drop. So I'm not touching. I'm not touching these supercharged cards. I've also been doing a ton of flipping, though. 
with the supercharged cards and uh, like the Bo Bichettes and uh, George Springers making a lot of stubs with them. So the Central is actually a really easy one to finish, um, especially if you have like Buxton and stuff like that. But again, I wouldn't advise going for them. I'm almost at the end at this point, and I have almost all the expensive cards. I only spent, like, the collections I finished here, I think I spent, like, 12, 12K to wind up uh, finishing them all out. So I was okay with using the 12K, considering I think as I slept overnight, I made, like, 30K last night just by uh, doing some of the market stuff. Hunter Renfro, he was not a good one to flip. But, yeah, you can see I, I mostly don't have any anyone in any of these collections because I have been selling every card. Now, if we go into... Uh, we go look at my orders, my completed orders. I have 230 pages of completed orders. And if you look, most of them are pretty, pretty cheap here. Okay. And I am selling everything. I like this card. I, I want to use this card. The Muntaka Murakami. I would love, if I probably butchered that, but I would love to use that card. Same thing as Taylor Rogers look kind of interesting. Got this in mini seasons. Complete your mini seasons. It's like the last thing that I have to do that's going to re reward me with any XP or anything like that. Um, so that's why I'm doing that right now. But yeah, look at these sell. They're all, they're all, I'm buying them for five and selling them for 30. It's, it's a heat, so it's a, it's, you're gaining, uh, 27 stubs on each one, you know? And when you're putting in hundreds of out, hundreds of orders in every night, you wake up and you, you have like, you know, 10 or 12 commons that have over a hundred each. You just put the order in for 30. You don't really get undercut too much. These cards go like hotcakes. And by the end of the day, they're probably all sold. And you made a massive prop, uh, profit passively doing absolutely nothing so you can do things like that I, it's definitely tedious to do while being on the console but inside the companion app you can literally just put the number in and just rapid fire and tap it and hopefully your phone's not too old and it and it won't freeze i do want to know i do want to know where are you at in your collections right now especially you know money spenders i want to know where you're at i want to know what strategies you're using to employ are you as far along as i am in terms of getting the cards that actually are worth something? Are you are you nowhere near where I am? Do you think maybe you're gonna employ some of my strategies? Let me know in that comment section. I also wanna know, what'd you think of opening weekend? My Mets have been doing fantastic. They did lose one game, which was a really quick game. It was a two hour and eight minute game, I believe. It was really, really fast. Kinda of on the boring side, kinda of on the boring side. But Messi's went three and one against the Marlins. They should go at least three and one against the Marlins. Taking care of business. Happy to see that. Let me know in the comment section who's your favorite team. How did they do this weekend? What players on that team are you really excited for? If you enjoyed the video, please do me a big favor. Click that like button. Leave me some of those comments about those questions that I asked you about. And make sure you subscribe so you catch all the content. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you soon.